This is cabin tour of cabin 4061, which is a deluxe veranda balcony cabin on the Viking Star. Here's the gist of it, the overview. You've got a double bed with bedside tables on either side, two chairs and a coffee table over there in the corner, a desk and a television. We're gonna look more specifically at each of those things, fill you in on the intricacies, like for example, at the nightstand next to the bed on either side, there's a European style AC outlet an American style AC outlet and two USB connections. And the passengers on Viking Star, probably average age is close to 70. So I imagine quite a few of them sleep with CPAPs. It's great to have the AC outlet there right next to the bed for using a CPAP. You've got it on either side. You'll also see in that nightstand, there's a drawer there and some storage down below. And of course, plenty of room under the bed to store your luggage or anything else. We've got three suitcases and a whole bunch of other stuff stored under the bed. Over in the corner, uh, our traveling companions, Lady and the Tramp from the old Disney movie. We've got this set up a little different here in our room than uh, it comes standard. We didn't like the way that they had this section of the room arranged when we arrived, so we redid it. We've put the coffee table in the back and the chairs where they are there. Uh, the way it was when we arrived was the coffee table was in the front and it ended up taking a lot of this space down here in front of the chairs and it just seemed kind of awkward and hard to move around, so we rearranged that. There's one thing about the desk you might not realize, and that is that this pops up here so you've got a makeup area there and some storage underneath that. There is free Wi-Fi internet access throughout the entire ship, but it's kind of slow. Watch how long it takes for Google search results to come up for Viking Star. Yeah, that's slow. Here you can see there's two American style AC outlets plus a European style there. And these units here are called quiet vox that's used on some of the provided shore excursions so that you can hear the tour guide i've brought along this indoor outdoor thermometer 82 degrees outside today on our balcony 76 degrees inside the cabin today you can see uh, there's plenty of bottled water viking provides that it's plentiful it's everywhere you can get as much of it as you want at no extra charge and speaking of things provided at no extra charge Let's open up the refrigerator here. There's a whole bunch of Coca-Cola, got some water in there, some candy bars, there's some tonic water. All that is provided at no extra charge by Viking and that is replenished daily. Now that's what's in a deluxe veranda refrigerator. If you were in a penthouse veranda or better, there would be alcohol in there provided at no extra charge and replenished daily. One of the things that really worked out great for me on this cruise was that the Coca-Cola is free and plentiful, and Viking Ocean Cruises let you bring on your own booze. <laughs> they don't confiscate it if you bring on your own. So I stopped at Costco at home before the cruise. I bought $15 worth of Malibu rum, and I was drinking Malibu and Coke poured in my cabin for the entire length of the cruise. Outside of the cabin, I ran out up a $0 bar tab on this cruise because I had everything I needed right here. Take a closer look at the TV here. These are the channels that you can get as far as standard broadcast TV, kind of limited. You know, you don't have NBC, you don't have ABC, CBS, you don't have Fox. Um, we are here the week of the World Series and it came down to game seven of the World Series, which everybody on board the ship wanted to watch and couldn't get it. You can also bring up a list of the things that you have booked in advance, like your shore excursions and stuff. You can bring on your uh, accounting for your onboard spending to see, you know, if you're running up a, a bar bill or whatever. And then uh, you also have some free movies available here. Let's bring up the list. Um, so this is a list of what they call new releases, just to scroll through here and give you an idea of some of the movies that they're offering 
here in November of 2016. Uh, it's not super current stuff, uh, but it's not bad. And all of this is at no extra charge. This is not a pay-per-view kind of a thing. These are all provided at no extra charge because uh, no nickel and diming is the way that it's done on Viking. You can see that overall the colors are very tasteful in the room. It's nicely decorated, but here is the real problem. Uh, this is the closet. It, there's one closet only. It's shared by both people in the room, and it's kind of inadequate, and it's awkward because there's a very limited space here. So if both people in the room are trying to get into the closet at the same time, it's impossible because uh, the door either slides left or right. You can't both get into it at the same time, and there's not enough room to stand in front of the closet because of that limited space between the closet and the bed. Uh, a lot of other cruise ships I've been on, there have been two closets, uh, which is a lot more convenient arrangement. It's too bad that they don't offer that here on the deluxe veranda cabins. I don't know, it may be different on the penthouse veranda and above, uh, but this is what you get in a del deluxe veranda. Uh, and as far as storage, that's also a little bit on the inadequate side. There's four, well, there's three drawers, really. The top drawer there is where the safe is located coffee maker. There's some storage up above. Uh, in this white thing is a hair dryer. They do provide a shoehorn and a brush. But you've really got those three drawers down below there. You've got the closet. You've got the one drawer in that nightstand. You've got one drawer in that nightstand. There's really no major storage in the desk so that's very limited storage much less than other cruise ships that i've been on and uh it's something that i wish that viking would do a little better on maybe their next generation of cruise ships well i'm sure you're wondering about the balcony and one of the benefits of traveling with viking ocean cruises is that every cabin has a balcony so let's go take a look at this one we're docked in saint martin today we've got a Beautiful view outside, although the weather is not completely cooperating. But anyway, here is the balcony. Pretty simple. Table and two chairs. But there's plenty of room. It's reasonably sized. Of course, if you're traveling in a large party and you've got multiple cabins booked, you can have that partition opened up there and connect all your balconies together. And another benefit of Viking Ocean Cruises is that you can order breakfast delivered to your cabin in the morning. Just hang the order form on your door before you go to bed. And there's a very full menu available of both cold and hot breakfast items. Now let's take a look at the bathroom. It's a fantastic shower, one of the best I've seen on a cruise ship. Room enough for two if you're in a romantic mood. The shower height is adjustable for short people or for tall people. And they've got this great little shelf there. The women will love this for putting your leg on there for shaving. And they do also supply shampoo, conditioner, body wash, and body lotion. So no need to bring that. And that's the cabin tour. Deluxe Veranda Cabin 4061 on a great cruise ship, Viking Star.